Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Virgo. Somebody now is really going back. I feel remembering something and now overcoming some type of stress, fear, and anxiety. The Hierophant in the reverse. Oh, and then the Empress in the reverse. And the King of Cups. Wow. Oh, wow. The King of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Wait a minute. What is this? This seems very like, specific. The Hierophant in the reverse. The Emperor in the reverse. This right here has to do with a person of authority. You have the Hierophant, the Emperor, and then there's two kings. This is, um, this is like a group of men. I'm not, I, I'm just gonna tell you what, this is like a group of men. The Hierophant is the leader of a group. You have the Emperor in the reverse. These are people who have been abusing their power. King of Swords in the reverse, King of Cups in the reverse, Emperor in the reverse, Hierophant in the reverse. But this Four of Swords, Six, I'm sorry, Four of Swords in the reverse, Nine of Swords, and Six of Swords, this is all, Swords is all mental. It's the mind, it's communication. Th this is a group of people, uh, a cult, coven, organization. These people have been sending perhaps like some type of energy towards a person to have you stressed like unable to relax trying to make it very hard for you to heal and let go this was to slow you down the eight of wands is here in the reverse this was all to slow you down but the five of swords is here in the reverse so with the five of swords being in the reverse you're moving on the it seems like um This was like a, a planned attack by a group to like weigh you down, put you down, hurt you, sabotage you, like drive you, like literally drive you mad, drive you insane. It seems like so that it would be easier for them to sacrifice you in some type of way. But you have the six of wands in the reverse. They weren't successful at doing this. This, these people are getting confirmation that they failed and whatever this attempt was to sacrifice you. But literally, this is at, at least four people. At least. Four to five people. Men, specifically. It's like these people, they wanted you very... Like, I'm, I'm hearing they wanted you out naked and afraid. Like, they wanted you to fear how to move forward, where to go. That comes from having a lack of direction, a lack of confidence. So these people wanted you to have a lack of direction, low self-esteem, low confidence. They wanted you to feel hopeless, helpless, powerless while they abused their power. This was all for some type of six of pentacles in the reverse. They didn't want it. This was not for any type of equal give and take. This was so that they could gain off of you financially. This was a scam. Seven of cups in the reverse. This was a bunch of confusion and illusions that was put in place to, to like scam a person. But this, this didn't go through the way that they wanted because somebody, there was bad planning here or the two of wands in the reverse. It's like somebody didn't make the right decision. Somebody didn't take action or they didn't take action at the right time. Somebody could have even taken action, but it's something here about movement or travel. These people could be at a distance from you. It's like there was a window of opportunity for them to do something to you and it, it feels like they've missed it the ace of pentacles is in the reverse yeah it was a lost opportunity like they can't they can't do this
I just get like this was a very very big mental attack. These people wanted you in the hermit in the reverse, like stuck in isolation. They wanted you literally to go insane. They were trying to drive you mad, like drive you completely insane, so that like for some of you, if you've experienced like a lot of depression or being very tired, paranoid, um, feeling withdrawn from society. Having some kind of like social, like it's literally like social anxiety. A lot of paranoia here. Sleepless nights. This was some kind of spiritual attack. And it's obviously it's something out in the world. That they want, they want you to miss an opportunity. The whole goal was to make you miss an opportunity. I had to write that down because there's so many different terms. Social anxiety, depression, exhaustion. <laughs> um... So you're with the six of swords in the reverse, perhaps right now you're in a peaceful state or they, they feel like you're at peace. These people, they know a lot because they're tapping into your energy so they can tell by looking into your energy that you're at peace. I feel like this is like a group of uh, like some type of coven or something. They're constantly doing these energy checks on you to figure out how are you, how are you feeling? How are you, how are you doing right now? And it's like, as soon as they try to kind of check your your temperature they're like oh you're at peace today uh-uh mess that up sorry and it's all a goal to have you in just isolation this is so that you're not seen or you're it's heavy like somebody wants you hidden and isolated and silent I don't know who this is. This feels like this could have been someone that maybe you were with at some point, but they have help. They've had help and assistance in doing this, or this was a plan. It, it, to be honest with you, this feels very dark and shady. This feels like a premeditated plan. Like somebody here is um was like attacking you, and they were planning. Like they were planning to, hell, it feels like planning to kidnap you or something. Like these people had a plan to get you. This is the hermit. Like they were planning to do this at night. Yeah, the wheel of fortune. I just turned the deck upright. I mean, some of the cards are still in the reverse. But see, the, the goal was to have you isolated because, oh, the nine of pentacles in the reverse. So this is somebody who saw that you had some type of good fortune, good karma. Wow. This is so specific. The will of fortune. For some of you, this is a group of men. Does not have to be. These men, though, they are a part of some kind of, with the Hierophant group, or organization, secret society. These people could be into a lot of gambling. Because with the will of fortune, I'm kind of seeing like a... What's the, like the wheel of fortune? You know, they spin the thing. That's what I'm saying. It's like, this could be somebody right now who, I don't know if this person owes debt to somebody or something. Okay, now this could be debt in our 3D reality or this person has spiritual debt because they took a gamble to do something. And when they, they, they came up short, this person felt the need to, to offer you up to pay a, a karmic debt of some sort. Or an actual debt, like, you know, as above, so below. This is somebody who literally has a person out here trying to catch you. In exchange for their safety or for money. Ten of Cups. The King of Wands and the Sun. And the star. This is somebody new. 
Mm -hmm. This Ten of Cups, the King of Wands, the Sun, and the Star, you have a new situation here. And somebody, the Four of Cups, somebody is very upset. The Tower. So somebody is upset. So when somebody, wow, that's crazy. So you mean to tell me somebody realized that you're finally about to have happiness? This King of Wands could be you. Maybe you're stepping into like a leadership role or position. You know, honestly, with these men doing this, I don't know if this is, are these men are attacking a woman or if these men are attacking a man. You could be a woman watching. This could be somebody attacking like your, a person that you are romantically involved or interested in, or they could even be attacking a family member of yours. I'm not sure. This is a group of men doing this, but I don't know if they're attacking a man or a woman. This King of Wands is here. This King of Wands, they could be attacking this person who was like a natural born leader, an entrepreneur. This person is very resilient. Like they're a person of authority, but they're not abusing any type of power. This person with the sun and the star, they're just destined to have greatness in their life. And it literally is, is showing me that like you have the King of Swords, King of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Emperor in the reverse. Did this, wow, oh my gosh. Are you, is this like somebody's, like a, somebody's family, like dad and brothers attacking them? Um, it's reminding me, <laughs> wow, it's reminding me of like the story in the Bible of Jacob and Esau, where it's like somebody is so jealous and envious of a person's blessing their future that they literally will go in maybe in the in the spirit or whatever to to try to switch somebody here has 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 tried to destiny swap i feel like i'm gonna be honest i feel like somebody did destiny swap and this is coming to an end now Yeah, the three of pentacles. Somebody is mad. I'm telling you, they're mad. And I, if this is a couple situation, somebody could be attacking a masculine. And the attacks on this masculine could be affecting the feminine. I don't know who this is. The nine of pentacles, though. Somebody has definitely taken some type of financial loss. They're experiencing like a loss of freedom or financial security. Like they've gone through a period of failing because somebody came in and changed their fate, changed their karma. This is like an elder too. Somebody here has taken advice from a religious leader, a father figure, or something. A uncle. I, they came out a few weeks of maybe like last week. This is like an uncle or somebody or someone's mentor who was like a, an evil warlock. This person saw somebody's future in their abundance, and somebody turned this this masculine's like or I mean masculine could be male or female take care of but this is a masculine energy it could be a, a man or a woman somebody has turned a person's life upside down do you hear me because yeah this was a gamble the three of pentacles is here with the moon in the reverse and there is the hangman so it's about to um become very clear with the tower here. That somebody tried to sacrifice somebody. They sure did. And this was a missed opportunity. And the, the way that I'm picking, this is, this is, it's going to backfire. 
It's it's one hundred percent gonna backfire because I feel like the way this backfires, you're gonna get confirmation because whatever somebody tries to do to you, or whoever this is in this reading that you may be connected to, is gonna happen to them. You're gonna know who this is. It's like if somebody tries to set you up, they're gonna be set up. So pay attention. Something is gonna happen to whoever did this and i'm really really getting like jacob and esau this could be like some kind of sibling rivalry this could be like a, a a man who has a very close friend that's very jealous and envious of them okay because i mean yeah in the in the in the well, how, how does the story go it's like if i'm not mistaken I mean, they're, Jacob and Esau are twins, right? Wow. This is like some kind of jealousy or rivalry amongst like men, it could be masculine energies. But their mother was in on this. When in the Bible, like when their dad was was like on his deathbed and Like Esau was supposed to, it, 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 this is like destiny swapping. Jacob was supposed to receive a blessing and, and their mom convinced him, you know, to like go to the dad to take the brother's blessing. She thought it would be best for them. And that's what I'm saying. Like with the hermit, somebody here who somebody has trusted, like this was a decision. I think that, you know what I'm getting here? This could even be like a situation like an inheritance where somebody is like, oh, you know, I feel like, and, and this could be something that happens in the future. Even this could be a situation where like a family is coming together and, and maybe something was left to the younger sibling. And you have like an older brother that's like, well, you know, I, I feel like because I'm older, that inheritance should be left to me. And they've gone and done some something shady. So that somebody could receive a blessing that was not theirs. But I mean, you have here the king of wands, the sun and the star. This is like that energy of like Jacob. Jacob in the end, he forgives his brothers. But Jacob goes off to literally live a life where he becomes a ruler somewhere else. This is this is this is about somebody taking somebody's birthright. Mm -mm -mm. This is this is something in a in family, amongst friends or family. And this is a brother. Somebody's brother is very jealous and envious. And it could be because the father favored one child or something like that. And the, the brother is like, no, I, I want that favor or that fortune or that blessing. I'm really picking up something for sure. It has to do maybe with um, like an inheritance or money. Somebody could have was maybe supposed to receive some property or something. So Esau wanted Jacob's blessing so bad that he went in and destiny swapped, took it for himself. Mm -mm -mm. 
those of you who read about Jacob, that's I, I love the story. Jacob was willing to forgive though. He found peace. He was willing to forgive. And that's why he was so blessed. And in the end, he literally, he still was able to free his family. So this is a masculine here who was chosen. Who look, look at that. Five of Pentacles. This person has been somebody has stolen from this masculine. Somebody took this masculine's birthright, or they're trying to steal something or sacrifice this masculine or something that they're supposed to receive. Somebody just knows that they have like a friend or a sibling that is very is who is destined for greatness and this person tried to steal their destiny or they've been walking in this person's energy or something for a long time somebody literally have has been in poverty and out in the cold because they have um a very close friend or family member and for in some cases it could be a lover who hexed them to sacrifice them so that they would not receive something in the future. This is giving me, it's something here about order. I'm hearing order in the court, but and it's making me think about readings I've done in the past where like, um, if you have life insurance, there's a beneficiary and then there's a contingent beneficiary. So it's like, well, you're the, you're the beneficiary, but if something were to happen, if you pass away, then there's a contingent. So it's like contingent upon that person's death, the beneficiary, then there's a next person in line. This is like somebody here already knows that something has been promised to their sibling. And they're like, well, I want to be the one to receive it. So this person got so desperate that they're willing to get rid of or sacrifice somebody. They may not necessarily like try to take this person out. But they, they're trying to do something so that this person is not in their right mind so that they can't actually receive some type of blessing or inheritance. Wow. Knight mm -mm -mm. of Wands. But somebody now is about to take action. This King of Wands is this Knight of Wands. This person is about to take action. There's something new that's coming in for this person because the illusion is being shattered. This person now... For one, I'm telling you, this is a backfire. Whoever has been doing this in the background, they're not going to be able to do it anymore because whatever energy they sent out is going back to them. This person is going to be set all the way down. Whatever they gained from whatever sacrifice, ritual, whatever they've been doing, they're going to lose it. And so much more. Because this King of Wands is right here with the sun and the star. This person, like they're, they've been chosen by God to be very prosperous. Wow. And abundant. Ten of Pentacles. This is a family situation. And it has to do with legacy, money, inheritance. Somebody's hard work, determination, someone's willingness to forgive. Somebody, the fact that this person has not been out here trying to destroy other people when they could, they're going to be blessed. This person has, like this King of Wands person has always had the strength and the courage to just stay the course. This is somebody who really, really has strong faith in God. This person's like, well, you know, something is, is happening to me or it happened. Maybe they were even a little bit naive or gullible. They could not see the truth. This person's spell work could have been done so that they couldn't see the truth. But now you have the three of wands. Something is still coming in for this person. And the four of pentacles is in the reverse. So whoever was holding on to this person's abundance, their security, their stability, while they've literally been sitting here working so long, on their own path and journey is a, a is about to finally like go to jail or be stuck bound spiritually bound in jail or whatever this person is they will know they will never be able to do this to this individual again yeah somebody is wow somebody is about to take major losses for what they did they could be going to jail they have a bunch of financial burdens emotional turmoil whatever they sent out they're getting it back tenfold because whoever this, this masculine person is, this is a chosen person. They're an earth angel. This person has been focused. This person has possibly, because of their financial problems, they've been constantly working on trying to, like, maybe get, you know, a better education. Um, working on some type of skill, some type of craft. This, this is the kind of person, like, they're, they're the first person in and the last person out, and they're not getting anything. 
They're not receiving anything because somebody has destiny swapped with this person. Somebody literally wanted this person's birthright and they took it. There, so somebody now is about to reclaim their own personal birthright and it was taken from them from a family member. Somebody is about to really find out some major truth though about like their family because like in the story of Jacob and Esau, their mother, their mother thought that, you know, <laughs> Esau should go and get the blessing instead of Jacob. Who are you to decide what should happen that God has already said? So there is still, there's another person here. Whoever this friend, brother, whomever, they didn't work completely alone. Somebody, somebody else gave them the advice to do this. And I don't know if it was someone's dad or mother or whomever. It could have been, been anybody. What I'm really getting is it's like, okay, you could have a brother. Okay, I'm just going to call it how I see it. But of course, take it how it resonates for your situation if this is your story. You could have a brother who joined some type of organization, secret society or whatever. That goes against all of their their morals, values, and beliefs that they were raised on. Somebody told this person that if you want to have success, you would need to sacrifice somebody. This person chose to sacrifice their own brother. For some type of financial gain. This person could have been in some type of trouble, needing money, um, if they're a part of a secret, like th this person wanted money. They wanted financial gains. So they sacrificed their own brother because it's like this person for them to have a certain type of life, lifestyle, whatever. Yeah, that's what they, they decide. And th this, this hermit-like energy, this is a leader of some type of group or organization that told them what to do. You know, hey, you want to make it big? You, you want to be affluent? You want a certain type of life? To come over here and be in this group, you're going to have to sacrifice somebody by doing X, Y, Z. And they did it. They did it. Gift. Homeless. Oh, my God. When I tell you the cards never lie, gift, homeless, and curse. Somebody knew a person had a gift, perhaps to be a leader, fortunate, abundant. They cursed this person so that they would be homeless. Justice is being served, though, because somebody decided that they were going to create this natural disaster. But here, this person that they cursed, they survived whatever this is. They survived whatever this curse is. And now what is happening is if it's like, a, say for if it's a, a ritual or something that they have to go, they can't do it anymore. This is like somebody's own family that knows that like they've been cursed. You look, look, they already know it. Here, here is the spiritual, this is the attack. Remember I said, it's like somebody wanted a person isolated. Just like going through it. Causing them all kind of disturbances. Like it's been a monkey on somebody's back. It's been an entity, a monitoring spirit or something on a person. And it was supposed to have them, what I say earlier, like naked and afraid, just scared. Frightened to do anything. So that this person would, would perhaps hit themselves. And what these people were doing, look at that, two men. Oh my gosh. Somebody was waiting to cash out on whatever this is. Conflict here and an accident. Two Two men. This is two brothers, two friends or something. Somebody here tried to, or they did. They created a situation where a person under some type of spell work, a hex or curse, somebody would possibly even hurt themselves or this situation, it was supposed to make it look like something was a natural disaster. No, it wasn't. And then they turned around. If, if this is something that already happened to somebody, like if some if somebody lost their mind or even you know is no longer here, somebody tried to pretend that they were offering a person help in a community. Somebody tried to lie to a group or a community, 
as if like they they were offering this person's help person help or they needed help to try to help this person when in actuality they were the ones who was causing this person this finan these financial issues, mental health issues and everything else. This person here they travel perfect like this person for their job they may travel a lot or they went to a person who is far far away who is extremely um gifted or i'm not not gifted but skilled Why do I feel like this is somebody here who has done this several times? And they're, they they tried to do it to somebody now who has unconditional love, who is a person who was born very pure, and they still have this purity about themselves, which is allowing them to be very triumphant. Victory, like success. Somebody, somebody here is living beyond what somebody told them was going to happen. They've managed to be relaxed, even though this person. You have her saving and friendship overwhelmed and stop. Somebody has gotten advice too. you know, it could be because that car, it could even be a read a reader here. Somebody could could it could be this reading or another reading from anybody. Somebody here. I feel like somebody is hearing a reading or getting a dream or some kind of download of advice. And they're like, oh my gosh, that's, that's what's happening to me. Yeah. Somebody's friend, a family member, a lover, or somebody has helped this person break out of this isolation. And now they're about to receive good news. Yeah. Because somebody tried to steal from them. This was planned. This literally was like... A planned robbery, attack, or sacrifice. These people had a plan to go in. And then, you know, with this card, it says memory. This like somebody literally has somebody's whole funeral and everything planned out. Because I'm, I'm saying I'm here in loving memory. This was planned. And somebody is going to be sh very shocked. And surprised that like somebody did not pass away. They didn't get rid of somebody. Wow. I cannot believe. <laughs> I wanted to, uh, it's like somebody had the whole thing planned out. Like, yeah, this day, that time, we're going to do this hex, this curse. It's going to break this person. They're going to get pretty much eliminate themselves we're gonna go and tell the community or the family or the friends this this was like a premeditated you know m word this was absolutely planned yeah you know and, and these people are like yeah we're gonna travel here do this do that it was planned these people literally have planned a whole funeral. And I feel like, again, somebody with the fake relaxation here. Somebody's somebody got like their life was actually spared. Because of some information that they got. This disturbance and fright, somebody literally sent out like the like something to take a person out. Somebody sent the spirit of death, like a whoever these this group uses to send out this entity or whatever to take a person out. Somebody literally heck somebody to lose their mind. And I feel like this is something that has been happening over time. Where somebody made it look like a person was sick, they were losing their mind. I'm hearing no, like there is no brain function or anything. It's weird because I'm getting for some people this has already happened. For others, this was the plan.
and whoever they were planning to do this to, this person is is, is still alive and well and doing just fine. Because it looks like somebody was sitting back and they were waiting. Like TikTok, they, they were waiting to get the call that somebody was, was, they were over, they were done. And if this is a group of organization, they've done this to multiple people. It didn't work on this person. And they're like, wait, what? How did they survive that? Yeah. Seriously, they're like, how? How? Nobody, nobody has survived this before. These people are like, we look, they're pissed. How? You know, like we we had look. Now everybody is screaming. Cause somebody now has proof that this huge, huge curse, hex, or ritual, it didn't work. These are people who are in a part of a, some kind of online community. I, and looking at this picture, it's like everybody is in their bed. Like, what? Like, they're getting they're getting proof. That person is still alive. Like, that person... They're like, what are we going to do? This could be people who are into... For sure, they did this for money. Real estate, wealth, investments. The whole point was to trap somebody. And have them stuck and free. So that they could take whatever was promised to them. Wow. And somebody is promised in, in a love situation and lost. And, you know, if for some situations, for some of you, some of you, this new, this person, the person that you're supposed to be with, this is if you perhaps are a divine feminine. You could have a person from your past or somebody that you know. That wants to be with you so bad that they have literally hex cursed and try to get rid of a person that's in your life. I'm getting two very strong messages. One here is sort of like it could be like sibling rivalry or brother, like brothers or something like that. For some of you, this is a situation with a lover where somebody literally has tried to take out a person that you're supposed to be connected with romantically because they want to be with you so bad and they want to receive whatever the birthright is that this masculine is supposed to have with you they want that for themselves so they've done some kind of hex or spell work to actually try to get rid of this person for some of you you know it may not be a physical death but for some of you this is a person or that, that works with the entity this has been coming out all month for for years it's been coming out but it's finally getting to coming to a close now. Somebody here has, has been getting rid of people spiritually. Spiritually causing a spiritual death for people. When they want something that they have and the thing that they may have could be you. If this is a relationship, they're going in the spirit and they are binding and destroying these different people. That are coming towards you. This could be a person for some of you. It's an entity for some of you. It's a person that works with an entity or they have an entity attached to them. Whatever. They've done this now to somebody who is chosen. Whatever this this like hex curse ritual that they've been taught to do that they've had great success with doing in the past is not working on this person. And they're like, what the f like how? How? Somebody is stressed out now because they can't move forward. They can't move forward with this. There will be no peace. There will be no rest for these wicked people that have done this. And it's so funny because for some of you, what I'm picking up too, especially if this is a relationship thing, it's almost like, and that, I know this may sound super crazy to some people. It's almost like if this is a situation with a lover, like a past lover, or new, it's like these two people, it almost feels like they could have been brothers or something in a past life. There's some kind of past life karmic situation. And there's a divine feminine in the middle. It's like this lifetime, somebody's like, no, I want my birthright back because you, you stole it. It's really giving very much like Isis, Osiris, and Seth. Literally where it's like Isis was, oh, wow. Yeah, that makes sense. Like with the twins. Isis and Osiris were married, but they were twins. And... Seth, their brother, was so jealous of Osiris being king 
that he literally set him up to have him taken out. And he did it. And for some time, he was acting as, as king until Isis had to go with the help of others where her healing energy and everything else literally had to go and put Osiris back together. <laughs> they had the type of love that nobody could understand. They were siblings and they were married, which, you know, was was a thing back in those those times. But yeah, this is what this is. So it's sort of like the story of like Isis and Osiris and then you could you could if you want to look in the the Bible, you could look at the story of like Jacob and and Esau. This is somebody who wanted to get rid of a brother or a friend or a lover. And they they try to spiritually take this person out. Somebody here has been trying to cause a person to be homeless, um, causing all these is issues and situations. And I feel like it was honestly so that they could drive a person mad and insane to the point that they may actually hurt themselves. And it would look like it was a natural disaster. It wasn't. For some of you, this is your clarity and confirmation that if this has happened to somebody, it was not an accident. It was planned. It was 100% planned. But this just feels like somebody has done this multiple times. And they've, they've gotten to somebody now and it's not working. And they're like, wait. <laughs> yeah, look at this loss. Some of you could have already lost a person. Or you know somebody that has, has been a victim of this type of spell work or whatever from this type of group of people. These are people who are sacrificing their own friends and family members for fortune. Concerned. Somebody is concerned. Because something here, they were expecting unexpected income from a person having bad health. Or even passing away. They're they're concerned now because they're like, wait, what are we gonna do? If if we don't get rid of that person, we don't we don't get anything. Now what they're going to get instead of this unexpected income is they're going to be getting bad income and they're also gonna have to pay the karma, which could be with whatever. Them going to jail, losing their life, whatever. Yeah, this was all for sudden wealth. I feel like who they did this to though was who's going to receive sudden wealth and like a new beginning. And somebody now is about to realize. But remember I was saying it's like somebody now, somebody has helped them. Somebody now is like, wow, my life was saved by this person. And they're possibly going to marry this person. The change that's coming is death. And these people are going to be in despair because they're not receiving this person's gift. They're not. And this is a community. Look at this. Community of mature men, wealthy men, and they have witches, wizards, and warlocks. This is a secret society. Look at them back there and with the mask on. What a false person. What do we have here? The emperor and the hierophant in the reverse. This is a group. Yeah. And these false people, they're going to jail. They're going to jail in hell because there's evidence of what they've done. These people could be into real estate. They trap people. They scheme and scam and trap people for, for for financial gain. And for them, any person, any like they'll get rid of anybody. That's that's what the um well people abuse their power, the need for power and control and, and money will drive people to the point where they'll do anything. It's just like people who want to be initiated into gangs. They're going, they literally go out and they will get rid of their own best friends, family members, or whomever. They're the ones whose mind is insane. These people have been brainwashed to do a bunch of like just crazy stuff out here. And it's all to steal from people so that they can have, well, these people are sacrificing people. I'm assuming that they're, they're giving this to some type of false leader or God that they worship. And in exchange, and I, you know, it, it could just be like, these could be Satanists or something. In exchange, they're supposed to receive wealth. They've recently done this to somebody who is not, it didn't work. Either they did this to you or they did it to somebody that you're connected to. Yeah, because that person is an earth angel. 
These people have been tricked. You have earth angel and fairies here. If you know about fairies, fairies can be very cute, young, small, all that. But fairies can really destroy you. Fairies can be tricksters. 100%. Some fairies are... You, you don't want to mess with them at all. They will completely destroy you. Look, twin flame. Wow. You are a powerful light worker. Ascending Master's third eye chakra. Wow. Release and sacral chakra. And integrity and earth angel. Wow. That's what it is. So, so for some of you, you literally, you've like freed your actual twin flame. You were able to see something that has protected them. Your ascended masters, the angels, your ancestors, gods, or whatever, they have worked with you to protect this person, your third eye chakra. It's like you're receiving some type of truth or clarity or insight, and it has been shared with them. It's a twin flame connection. So if you're getting the if you're getting the download, somehow they're getting it too. You and this person may not get downloads the same way, but they can still receive the download. You have for a release. It says work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no, long, what no longer serves you on your purpose. Sacral chakra, you are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods, and energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships. So for some of you, you've been advising a person you need to stay away from a certain person or a certain group of people. They don't, they're not aligned with your actions. They don't mean you well. You you have probably explained to somebody, hey, you're you're an earth angel, you're chosen. You need to be careful about your friends, your family. You need to be careful of that ex-lover. These people are trying to create a situation for you where you will get hurt or harmed. This could be somebody's brother. Like I said, I'm getting two different situations. For some of you, this is a family situation. Sibling rivalry or whatever. Black magic is absolutely involved. For some of you, you have a lover, an ex-lover that has been trying to ruin all of your relationships. And they've been doing black magic on any person that's connected to you. Take, take for yourself whichever story resonates with you. But I'm picking up both. But whoever you are, you could be somebody who's like a light worker. You could be very clairvoyant. You've already probably advised someone or it could, it may not even be you. Somebody could, like I said, could have watched a reading or that I'm literally, somebody could have been walking around the store, Walmart or Target and a prophet just stopped them and was like, Hey, you need to be careful. If you're planning to go here or there on this day, don't go. Like some, somehow a person got a message to not do something and it literally saved their life. But I really do feel that. It has to do with like a divine feminine telling somebody not to go somewhere, not to trust something or to do or, or something. And that's the reason why you have here like the thought. Somebody is like, oh, wow. It is because of their contract to this divine being. That protected them. From an ending, from them being in despair, losing their life. If this is you, man, you're you. <laughs> wow. It reminds me of a reading that I did a few months ago where I said for some of you, you have really great rewards because not only did you save yourself in spiritual warfare, but you pulled somebody else out with you. You didn't have to. You may not have even thought that you had the strength or the capacity to do it, but you saved not only yourself, but you saved another one of God's chosen ones. And this person could be your twin flame. Now, keep in mind, everybody doesn't, you know, go into a relationship with the twin flame. But this is this was a part of your path was to help somebody. Wow. Talk about crazy. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. I'm talking about people just out here trying to take people out for money. For property, inheritance. Look at that. Twin flame. Redemption. And you think about like the story of Isis and Osiris. <laughs> Osiris was just, you know, he fell right into the trap. He didn't, he didn't see it. 
that's all you have to be careful because we and I just did a reading about that. You can go out here and man, this sun, the sun and the stars here together with the King of Wands, Tentacle. People will hate you for your favor, whether you have fortune or not. Just because of your the favor and the calling on your life, you will be surprised who will be sitting back or even sitting right there with you trying to destroy you the entire time. Somebody is about to find out that friend, family member, lover, or whomever flat out tried to sacrifice them. And this could be confirmation for some of you. Like this could have happened to somebody that you know, and this is confirmation that, yeah, whatever happened to that person, it wasn't an accident. This is also exposing that there's a group of people, they do this to a lot of people. But it ain't working on this person or it didn't work on you. What's going on? Um, I don't know. There's some kind of connection here. You have for a chaser and I am sorry. Coming for you, determined and pursued. So for somebody, they may not have... When you may have told them something in the past, they could have brushed it off. Now, this person, they're gaining some kind of... That they're going within now. Their intuition. Is telling them now that. <laughs> once again, they're thinking about you. Now somebody is like, I need to marry that person because that person saved my life. Time for change. Big happy changes are coming. It says here, trust the process. Somebody, and, and you know, you have some people who overlook you because they're just cruel. This is just somebody who wasn't awakened and aware. They they really just didn't know that they had this kind of snake around them. And I feel like when you revealed it to this person, they was like, oh, you know, maybe it's possible. But they didn't really take action. They want to take action now, though. Union. Wow. Affection. Forehead kisses, touching, offer of loyalty, commitment. 